What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? I had a really strong itch to do another crazy makeup video, so I figured who better to transform myself into than Jeffree Star. So let's get started. Starting with a fresh face, I am going to take this glue stick and use it all over my eyebrows. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just kind of glue down all the hairs and create a very smooth surface where hopefully I can apply heavy duty concealer and just cover up my brows. Since I woke up with a mono lid today, I need to go in with my double eyelid sticker which I apparently cannot get out of the packaging because I use these super long stick on kind of like gel nail things. Anyway, so I'm just gonna stick that on in order to have more even eyelids. Yo mom, can you help me open this package? I literally can't open it with my nails. What better primer to use than one that is approved by Jeffree Star? So this e.l.f. primer is actually really, really great. It makes your skin so smooth. Even if you have bumps, it basically fills in all the dents. But what I'm gonna do is test out this Ordinary Primer as well, which, by the way, I also really like. This one is more liquidy, but you really get the same consistency in the end. A really nice, smooth canvas to work with. That I'm gonna go in with a regular foundation. I just really wanna start off with just something to even out my skin tone. As you can tell, my forehead for some reason is just so much darker than the rest of my face. So I'm gonna try to even that out first. I'm starting with a very light coverage concealer over my brows right now just to start building up on that coverage. Then I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite high coverage concealer. This thing is amazing. On a daily basis, this thing can cover all my pimples and dark circles. So we're done with the face for now. We'll go back to it later, but I'm gonna get started on the eyes first. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty shimmery blue color. And you'll notice that I'm actually going to bring this eyeshadow up pretty high. Basically, my eye sockets are not as defined and I don't have as much space between my brows and my eyes as Jeffree Star does. So I'm actually bringing everything in towards my inner corners a lot more and I'm gonna bring up all the way to my brow bone. So as you can see, I brought it all the way up to my brow bones. In an ideal world, I would have been able to hide my eyebrows a lot better, but as you can tell, a lot of the brow hairs are still evident, and that's because my glue was honestly pretty dry. But I'm going to use a white eyeshadow and just start blending it out so the edges don't look as harsh. It doesn't look perfect right now, I know, um, but right now I just really am focusing on just getting the shape right, and then I'll continue to work on the eyeshadow as we go. Going in with a darker blue color, I'm going to use that on my underline. Underline? <laughs> the bottom of my eye? I, I haven't done a makeup video in so long, I'm forgetting all these terms. Actually, also, in an ideal world, I would have been able to get my hands on Jeffree Star's Blue Blood eyeshadow palette, but I wasn't able to, so we're going to have to opt for these eyeshadow colors for now. Then I'm gonna go in and use a really odd method. It was honestly my first time trying this, but I basically don't have a high pigment enough shimmery eyeshadow for the inner corners. And so I had some loose glitter powder. So basically I took my uh, lash adhesive and applied it just in the inner corners and I'm dabbing this glitter all over it. Uh, it didn't come out as evenly as what I hoped for, but it kind of got the job done. So if you just stand 20 feet back, then you know it, it kind of looks okay. But don't judge me. I was trying to use what I had on hand, and uh, I, I, I need to use it before it expires. So whatever, it, it works. This step is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm doing this just before I put my false lashes on. I didn't have a white eyeliner as well, um, and <laughs> just imagine me using one. But I'm just using some white eyeshadow on my, uh, oh, what's it called? Waterline, that's what it is. And then going in with some mascara. Um, basically hoping to just open up my eyes. 
and make them look as big as Jeffree Star's because his eyes are massive. Then I'm gonna start contouring my nose and I basically have this photo of Jeffree Star and I'm trying to mimic um, his jawline, which is very slim and also the size and the shape of his cheeks as well as the smile lines. So clearly I'm not actually blending it out too much right now. I will, um, but I'm actually going to go back in with a, another layer of foundation and that's gonna do a huge job of covering up these harsh brown lines. So this foundation I actually bought in the completely wrong shade and I'm surprised it's actually coming in handy, but Jeffree Star is very pale. So this is great. It actually works out really well. Going in with some blush as well as some nose contour. I honestly find contouring my nose to be super fun, especially when I'm doing these crazy makeup videos where I can exaggerate it by a lot. But Jeffree Star has a really high pointy slim nose, so I'm gonna try to mimic that. Honestly, contouring my nose really reminds me why I love playing around with makeup so much. It's just insane how much of a difference two brown lines on the side of your nose can make. Who needs a nose job when you have contour? And then my favorite part, I think this part is what makes me look a lot more like Jeffree Star. So I'm actually, I've got pretty fat lips, but I'm gonna still overline it. What I did was I mimicked Jeffree Star's smile and I noticed that he doesn't have a very, I don't know, I wouldn't call it defined, but his lips are kind of thicker all the way up until the edge. So I had to widen it a little bit. My lips look so luscious right now. I don't, like I tried my best here, but I was trying to draw Jeffrey's tattoos and I really just did my best, but you know, please don't like examine it. it I just, yeah. I didn't have the same color wig, so I opted for this kind of green one. And here is my uh, Walmart version of Jeffrey Star. I had so much fun filming this video today. I haven't played around with makeup in such an exaggerated way in a long time. So it was a really nice excuse for me to do it again. If you enjoyed this makeup transformation, you can also check out my Asian Kylie Jenner makeup video. That one was really fun to film as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of photos there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.